Eugenie Kitchen. Hi, I'm Eugenie. Today, I'm making deep fried crispy onion rings, which is perfect for an entree, a side dish, and a snack. You can always find all my recipes at eugeniekitchen.com. And don't forget to check out my Nespresso Espresso giveaway for this summer. First, I will slice one onion half inch thick. Don't slice it thicker than this, otherwise the onions won't get cooked thoroughly. And separate them into rings. In a mixing bowl, add one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour and coat the onion rings with flour using chopsticks or tongs. And tap to remove excessive flour. Then transfer to a wire rag over foil or parchment paper. It's possible to skip this process, but onion ring batter adheres to flour the onion batter. Then in a bowl of leftover flour, add in half cup of cornstarch, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of dried parsley. Dried oregano is also great. And whisk to combine. Then crack an egg in a bowl and break it. And in a bowl of dry mixture, add in the egg and 3 quarters cup of milk. And whisk until homogenous. In a shallow dish, pour in 3 quarters cup of dried breadcrumbs or Japanese panko. Now coat 4 or 5 onion rings in batter. and transfer the batch to a wire rack to remove excessive batter. And immediately move the batch to breadcrumbs and coat evenly with breadcrumbs. Now add the onion rings into vegetable oil, which is heated to 365 degrees Fahrenheit or 185 Celsius. Just drop a little bit of batter into the oil, and if it starts to cook with bubbles, then it's ready to go. And today in a deep heavy bottomed pan, I added about 2 inches of oil, which is enough. Fry until crisp and golden for about 2-3 to three minutes. Now transfer to a wire rack over parchment paper or a paper towel lined tray. And immediately sprinkle with salt and pepper to taste. But if you add the salt in better, the onion might sweat and the batter would fall off. And if you're a fan of cheese, like me, grate your choice of cheese over onion rings. Parmigiano Reggiano would be great for me. Also, I love onion rings with simple tomato ketchup or mayonnaise. Freshly fried breaded onion rings are so delicious. See? Perfectly breaded, crispy outside, and tender inside. I'm telling you, old-fashioned breaded onion rings are the best. Find more easy yet delicious recipes in my savory playlist. Thank you for watching. Bye.